Welcome to another startup and complete car documentation. What we're looking at today is a pristine 2002 Ford Explorer Eddie Bauer. As part of the Eddie Bauer Edition signature two-tone paint scheme, this Explorer is painted in Oxford white with Arizona beige lower body cladding. Got secure code. Front door panels have storage areas, and you get your usual power windows, power mirrors, and power door locks. And the driver's seat also has two person memory settings. The Eddie Bowers interior is finished in the medium parchment color scheme with leather seat upholstery. Both the front seats have partial power adjustments, and both of them are also heated. And now that we're behind the wheel, let's go ahead and start the engine. As for the remote fob, you have the buttons for lock, unlock, panic, and with this button you can pop open the upper half of the tailgate. The Explorer is a mid-sized family SUV, and it's one of Ford's best-selling models. It debuted for 1991, and as of the making of this video, is now in its sixth generation. For its first four generations, it was a true body-on-frame SUV. However, for 2011, with the launch of its fifth generation, it became a car-based unibody crossover. I'd say that was a good choice to make, as crossovers have utterly dominated car sales for the past decade. Anyhow, this 2002 model we have here represents the third generation of the Explorer, which was produced for model years 2002 through 2005. The main Explorer model was completely redesigned for 2002 when it entered its third generation. It used a brand new fully boxed frame and also debuted an independent rear suspension. Another new thing for 2002 was the availability of a third row seat, and the one in this video has it. Now it is worth knowing that the two-door Explorer Sport and the first-generation Explorer Sport Track pickup, which were still using the platform of the older second-generation Explorer, remained in production until 03 and 05 respectively, alongside the all-new at the time Gen 3 Explorer. Anyhow, the Gen 3 Explorer also had two platform siblings in the second-generation Mercury Mountaineer and first-generation Lincoln Aviator. The 2002 model year US Market Explorer came in four main trim levels, those being XLS, XLT, Eddie Bauer, and Limited. So two different engines were offered across the O2 Explorer lineup. The base one, which was standard on all models, is a 4 liter V6 with 210 horsepower. On XLT, Eddie Bauer, and Limited, you can upgrade to the available 4.6 liter V8 with 239 horsepower. Two different transmissions were offered. The base one was a 5-speed manual, which was only available on base XLS models. The optional transmission, which most O2 Explorers have, is a 5-speed automatic. Your drivetrain options are rear-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. The main competition for the Explorer back in O2 included the Chevy Trailblazer, Jeep Grand Cherokee, Nissan Pathfinder, and Dodge Durango. In Ford's 2002 lineup of SUVs, the mid-size Explorer was slotted between the compact Escape and the full-size Expedition. So in the instrument cluster, you have six analog gauges, which are your tachometer, spinometer, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, voltage gauge, and oil pressure gauge. And then within that is a digital info display, 
or message center as Ford calls it, which can be gone through via the buttons right here in the center console. It has a four-spoke designed leather-wrapped multifunctional steering wheel. As for controls, on this side you have your cruise control, and then on this side you've got your audio controls, and then you also have your climate controls on the steering wheel, temperature and fan speed. And it is a tilt steering wheel. Hazard switch is on the steering column. You have your power adjustable pedals. The parking brake is foot operated. You have your headlight switch, panel dim, air vent for the driver. And right here is your high beam, turn signal, and wiper stock. It is a column gear shifter. So going down the center of the interior, first you have your radio head unit. It is AM FM with a six disc CD changer. On this side you have your on the fly four wheel drive controls. And then on this side are your aforementioned information display controls. Air vents. Right here are all the controls for your dual zone automatic climate control. Some storage two cup holders, and then a third cup holder, and a power outlet, center console, grab handle on the A-pillar, both sun visors do have vanity mirrors and lights, Auto dimming rear view mirror, your overhead lighting, garage home link, and your power sunroof control. And I just want to say, I am really impressed by this SUV, this O2 Explorer. This is the top of the line Eddie Bauer trim but it feels like a luxury car in here. And this is not even the, you know, they had the nicer ones, the Mercury Mountaineer, the Lincoln Aviator. This is just the mainstream one, the Ford. But I mean, you got the heated seats, you got the memory seating, you got the six disc CD changer, you got the climate controls right on the steering wheel. This thing was, for 20 years ago, this thing was loaded. But now we'll go ahead and roll down the driver's window and take a look at the engine bay. The driver's window is automatic down. It's riding on these 16 inch five split spoke alloy rims. Along with the two-tone paint, you got this nice kind of gold finished grill on the Eddie Bauer trim. Looks really cool. Under the hood of this one is the Explorer's base engine for 2002, that being a 4-liter naturally aspirated V6. It's a single overhead cam power plant with two valves per cylinder. It produces 210 horsepower at 5100 RPM, and 254 pound-feet of torque at 3,700 RPM. This engine is paired to a 5-speed automatic transmission with low gear selection, and this one does have 4-wheel drive. Running on regular unleaded with a 22.5 gallon fuel tank, updated EPA estimates for explorers equipped like this one are about 13 mpg in the city and 18 mpg on the highway. 
It has an independent four-wheel short and long-arm suspension setup, and stopping the Explorer are four-wheel disc brakes. I believe curb weight is somewhere around 4,300 pounds. When properly equipped, four-wheel drive V6 Explorers are capable of towing up to 5,500 pounds. And this thing does have a third row seats, and if you have two hands, you can fold the seat upwards like this. So let's have a quick look at that third row. All right, now we're in the third row in the Explorer. Storage nets, cup holder, the cup holders on both sides, coat hooks. Now I am about six foot one, and I'm not very comfortable back here. Um, yeah, I did. I was able to get the seat all the way back, but it's really not that comfortable. But I could ride back here in a pinch. This is only for two people, so I could ride back here in a pinch. Full size adults, I wouldn't really recommend being back here on like a really long trip. But headroom is actually really good. And if you're a little bit smaller, I can see this being actually a pretty nice place to be. I have been in much more cramped third rows. They give you this lever to aid exit, just like that. You do have storage pockets in the backs of both front seats. Got your rear climate vents, a power outlet, and a couple cup holders. And this one is sort of like a bench seat, so you can sit three people across here. Now space, I was expecting it to be a bit better. I'm about six foot one, and I put the driver's seat roughly where I would have it if I was driving, and legroom is actually not too great. But, you know, if you're smaller, for smaller people, I could see this being a very comfortable back seat. The seat itself is just, just this gorgeous two-toned leather. I love the aesthetic inside and out of the Eddie Bauer trim, but space could be a bit better. But that's just with my circumstances, someone of my size behind someone of my size. single exhaust, a rear wiper. Now this tailgate can be opened in two different ways. With this button on the remote fob, you can open just the top half. It's a little bit more than just the rear glass, but I can see that. And then you could open the 
whole thing. The Explorer offers 13.8 cubic feet of cargo space with all the seats up, 44 to 46 cubic feet with the third row folded down, and finally a maximum of 88 cubic feet with the third and second rows folded down. Also storage compartment right there. And as you saw earlier, the fuel cap is on the passenger side. Anyhow, thanks for checking out this tour of this 2002 Ford Explorer. And as always, stay on the lookout for future tours.